we have now the largest or one of the largest organic estates in Tuscany, Castel Giocondo. Uh, was organics for you um, to be trendy or was it a quality decision? It was a quality decision. We, everything began in, nine, in 2006 and uh, we, we began with 10 hectares. And we saw, of course, we picked the most suitable 10 hectares. As a little trial. A little trial. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we perceived that, first of all, we didn't lose the fruit because it went rotten, because that's the first thing. Secondly, we had to a little bit set our mind to see grass on the vineyards uh, and below the vines, mm -hmm. uh, because we, you know, we're not using any longer herbicides. And that's a little bit of a difficult mindset, because when you get uh, herbicides, gives you the, the thing of everything is in, everything is tidy. Nice and clean. It's nice and clean. Was that your sort of father's generation that they, they hated weeds? They... Yeah, but also my, my, my generation, when I saw all those weeds, mm, how horrible they are. And, but then we're doing it for the appearance or we're looking at it for the quality of the fruit. And what happened was that the Sangiovese came with a little bit more of a thicker skin. Going back to what we said, very important to stay skin. And we were r ripping the land mm, after the harvest and then more, uh, more times during the year. So you're saying that with the weeds, you, the vine has to maybe put down deeper roots, deeper to, roots. to find water, and that means but that the grapes are a little bit tougher, tougher more flavor, more, more color. Flavor, yeah. Smaller berry. And, uh, and all, these, all these 10 hectares was very successful. And then we said, okay, let's, let's try after. Two, two years, we said, okay, let's go to 30. And that came out to be quite uh, successful. And that's about 10% of Castel Giocondo, yeah. isn't it? You got to, yeah. Now we are 274. 